Today I'm going to talk about my project on isolation forest and local outlier factor for credit card fraud deduction system. My project members are Nalam Sridhivya myself, P. Sarojini, K. Sonika. And my project guide is Dr. V. Vijay Kumar, Associate Professor in the Department of CSC, SMVC. This is my proposed system architecture. This is my implementation architecture. And let me go on to the project demo. This is the data set. The data set uh, totally contains 31 columns with the uh, time V1 to V28 that are the principal components, amount and class. Let me go on to the coding session. The credit card.py, this is the train model. I used some libraries like uh, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Seaborn, Scikit-learn and uh, I even used Pickle for serialization and deserialization of my model. And I use the concept of ensemble learning. Here you can see the code. Uh, ensemble learning is like uh, combining two or more algorithms just for the purpose of more accurate prediction after the training. And I use the pickle library for serialization and deserialization. For serialization purpose, I use pickle.dump function. And let me next move on to the server.py. This is the main code. Uh, here the index file and CSS and JS are found. And here, if you pickle load, load just for deserializing my model. And okay, let me run it. It's somewhat slow. Okay, let me open the link. So uh, this is the front end GUI. Here I am going to uh, show you the four output responses which I am getting. So it seems to be a fraudulent transaction and if it's a fraudulent transaction the user generally receives a mail. Let me refresh it. Okay. See the transaction report. Uh, the user receives, the user or the investigator receives a mail from the bank system and like if you give some uh, invalid data or something, uh, the transaction might be a uh, invalid input. Let us wait. It's somewhat slow. Yeah, invalid input and if you give some random values which is not present in the data set, it might give you the output as invalid data. Let us wait somewhat. It's slow actually. Yeah, invalid data. And for normal transaction, let me give some values. Okay, it's a normal transaction. So the output is ca categorized into four invalid input, fraudulent, normal and invalid data. And this is about my project. And at last, thank you.